today's video, I am going to show you a project that I've been working on for quite a while. This is a challenge called the Get It Done Challenge, and it is hosted by Nicole Northgarden. Nicole has a um, great DIY channel. She does a whole lot of thrifting. She does decor. She does a bunch of DIYs. And she does a bunch of trash to treasures. So today I am going to start off with this piece of furniture. And I've had this piece almost, it's almost been a year now. So when I heard Nicole's challenge, um, I definitely thought this is perfect for me. So I just want to thank Letty, my bestie. We were um, thrifting almost a year ago and she found this piece for me and we got it for about 10 bucks. And I think it's a really nice piece. I'm gonna combine it with this mirror. And the mirror was free. I found that in the attic <laughs> when we bought the house. Um, so I'm first gonna start with this chalk paint and um, this Valspar chalk paint I like. I've used this for a while, this um, kind of off-white color. So um, I'm just gonna start with going around the edges of the piece. And, oh, and I forgot to mention, check out in my description below the link to Nicole's channel. And um, just in case you don't know, if you click on the title of my video in the lower left corner, you will see, um, I think I'm, my title is the uh, DIY chalk paint, get it done challenge. So if you just click on that, you will see uh, my description of this project and then also the link to Nicole's channel. So um, I went over with the white, I let that dry, and I started with that white because um, the mirror has a white. So when I distress, I'm gonna um, want a little bit of the white to show through. So check out also in my description below the link to this playlist. When Nicole's, Nicole publishes a challenge, when any, any other YouTuber issues that they are going to be having a challenge, anyone can participate. Um, and so my video, along with everyone else participating in this challenge, they will be list, they will be included in a um, playlist which Nicole creates. And so if you click on the link to the playlist in my description below, you can get access to the entire playlist. And I can't wait to see what um, other people are been, have been coming up with. So my next coat of paint is this ruby red paint made by Valspar, and it is really bright. It's brighter than I thought it was going to be. I did want a brilliant red. Um, and so this is the first coat here and it is taking quite a lot. I mean, I've done some other projects with, with that, with that Valspar white paint, that off white. And then also I use a lot of Annie Sloan. And so this was, this did not quite give me the coverage that, um, that I was kind of used to, but that, that piece is, was really dark. Um, so this is the second coat going on and this is, this is, uh, take these videos have been taking me, um, months. This project has been taking months to complete. So this video is, um, taking place over quite a while. Um, so here I'm just pointing out that I do try to clean all the edges to make sure that I paint like along the side and make sure it's really neat just because when you open it up in the mirror, so I just, I just want to see that, uh, that it you know, has a nice finish and not a DIY quality. And so I'm starting to distress and I'm using a sandpaper, 220, it was a little, that's a little um, heavier grit than what I've been used to. And so I learned, I learned from this project that I need to learn how to use a hand sander because to do this manually, this was a lot of work. And it was messy too, even though it was just inside. But because I had waited a long time, that chalk paint, that red, had really cured and so it was just tough to get off. So I need to get my electric hand sander out and learn how to use that. Okay, and so now I'm using antiquing wax and this is really dark. It goes on like sort of a thick hand lotion. That's the viscosity, it's pretty pretty heavy. And um, oh, and this is a reminder, uh, subscribe if you like this project, you wanna share more ideas. I have more chalk painting projects coming up. I got lots of things in the works. I got a couple other DIY pieces. I can't wait to refinish. 
So um, click the subscribe button. And if you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, you will get a notice from YouTube when I post new videos. So I'm now taking the, um, that antiquing wax. Well, this is the top, I'm just, I'm just showing that. It is, it goes on really, really dark. Um, and then I'm just, I just let it sit for probably about 20 minutes or so. And then I just removed it with, um, with a cloth. And another thing I learned, I started with a, um, a t an old towel, that pink cloth that you'll see. Um, that is terry cloth, and so that was not a good idea because the terry cloth does fray. It, le it left little little pieces of lint. So I did switch over to um, a t-shirt to buff the wax off um, with because you want to use something that's um, lint-free, as they say. Yes, a lint-free rag. So not this terry cloth. I do not recommend that. So I removed the wax, and I wanted to. Um, make sure that the piece was darkened up because it was so bright and so I did make sure to leave like some of the brighter areas so I like that a lot I like the way um, the wax came off in certain parts and so I had a lot of um, variation in the color it's it's um, brighter on on the front of the drawers there and then heavier on the back and so I wanted that antiquing that old world weather look and so um so yeah i think that i think that was that's a good finish um and then i also um did this to the mirror which i will show in a minute and so i'll just show all the paints that i used again and i wet distressed little handles I kept the handles on for this project I wanted to, to have that look um, and I just went over it with a wet towel and just took the paint off of the uh, little handles there so some of that bright that wet um, the brass shows through and so these are the paints again so I started with the lighter one uh, I mean that's the red actually I'm not showing the white sorry it's the red the antiquing and now the um, last coat is just with a clear wax and so that really seals the whole whole piece and that gave it just a nice sheen and um, and again I probably waited a, I probably had about a month or so probably two months between the antiquing wax and then this clear wax so this piece obviously is in my little entryway and I got this because it I thought it was the perfect size and I partnered it with that mirror because I wanted this whole little area this is just a small area and I wanted it to be the little station kind of little entryway and so you put the clear wax on and then you buff it off oh and this is the mirror so the, the mirror had more of the white showing through because it, obviously it was white to begin with um, but I just did the same uh, this same technique and since the mirror was flat, it didn't really have any grooves for the, the uh, antiquing wax to kind of stick to. Um, but I still got the same same kind of look. So if that antiquing works on a flat finish or, or if you have beveled or kind of curved edges, it would work really well. Um, but yeah, I like, I like this look. I think it gave it a nice, it matched the, uh, the foyer piece. And so now for flowers, this is always a fun piece for me. Um, everything I do always includes some kind of floral or wreath or greenery or fresh flowers. And so I found this piece thrifted a um, dollar at a garage sale and I'm kind of going for a nautical look. And this is just, I guess it was a planter. So I cleaned it up and I like the way it was red and white. Uh, I think this will be nice to style this little area there, um, you know, for, for Christmas obviously or for um, summertime, 4th of July. And I'm just gonna fill it with dried hydrangea. These were limelight hydrangea. And I'm gonna spray it with this floral, this um, just floral spray. It's kind of a gold and it just seals it. So it makes sure, it's, so once it's covered, it doesn't change the color that much. It actually doesn't really look gold it just looks more of a natural color and it just seals it so that the petals don't keep falling off 
and um, and they make it makes the petals kind of shiny so those on the left were completed the one on the right was kind of the before and so here is the final piece and I really like the way it looks I played around with styling it it's just a small entryway piece um, I like the way the mirror there matches and I can decorate the mirror with a wreath which will be great and then I didn't quite have a lamp that's tall enough so I just propped it up with a few books there put a little driftwood um, the flowers fit really nicely underneath I think it's nice to have the flowers on the floor that's an option in, in, uh, in decorating because um, they obviously wouldn't fit on the top and then I also just put a little um, dish on the top there where you can grab, drop, um, just drop keys or whatever when people walk in the entryway there. And so I really appreciate Nicole issuing this challenge because now I have a nice little station set up. This piece is complete. My kids no longer say, Mom, what are you doing with that? It looked half finished because it was half finished for forever. So think about subscribing. And thanks, Nicole, for making me get this done. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.